Anna Melling North East. Yay! I think I initially came up with the idea of setting up a, a dance academy because I've lived and worked um, in this area for most of my life. So I wanted to create somewhere that was accessible for young people, that didn't cost an arm and a leg, somewhere that was quite cool, that could just come and hang out and, and meet new people. We run, at the moment, in the northeast area, we run around 50 dance sessions per week and we have about 800 young people attending those sessions. We work in partnership with the local schools and organisations that work with young people to advertise the sessions. Then once they're in, we'll offer them things like discounts, incentives such as if they bring fruit, they get a free gift at the end of 10 weeks. We'll also make sure that we give the young people a sense of ownership. For example, they get to pick their own crew name and each crew has a colour. So they feel like they're completely unique, yet they're part of something a lot bigger. So every six months we'll have a huge dance performance where we would bring all 50 sessions from across the region to perform in a big festival. Some of the children that would attend the sessions aren't necessarily academic, but they might excel creatively. So we try and offer um, certificates and qualifications in a dance area. For example, they could take um, that Urban Floor Level 1 dance, which is an accredited qualification that they might not be able to, to get elsewhere. Um, we also offer things like uh, Arts Award, which the Gold Arts Award carries with it UCAS points. So it's a way for them to, to gain academically without necessarily studying your core subjects that they might not be fantastic at. And it also um, helps us train the young people who come through, like Jamie, so that she kind of walks through the door with no qualifications at all and she's a qualified teacher now. I first started coming to the dance school and I've been coming for about two years when I realised that I'd want to like do teaching and do what Anna's doing. So I just approached Anna and asked her how I could get into it and she said that she could offer his training opportunities. Over the years I started with my dance leadership, and then I did my art award, um, and then from there I've done training courses in urban floor, hip hop, street cheer, just to get me basic skills of dance to here where I am now. So when you're down here, go around, and then on your back. I won the Volunteer of the Year award for the for the re for the North East region, and that's like that was all through street games. But the best, I think, the best part about volunteering that I that I love personally is just like meeting loads of diverse people and working with young children and knowing that you're teaching them something, and each week they're taking something away from your session. Punch. Let me do it again. You're going to drop your arm and whip your head to the side. Being a tutor here has personally made me confidence levels way way higher. It's created, it's given us a lot of self-esteem. We find that if we meet with our young tutors, volunteers and trainees, um, maybe it's twice a month on a fortnightly basis to keep them informed. If they're informed, then they're delivering the sessions well. Yeah, just stuff like that to get them thinking all the time because they rely on you. Oh, it definitely gives the kids a massive self-esteem boost. It gives them team building skills because I, I let them work in groups, I let them work in pairs. For some of the young people, it just focuses them. It gives them something other than hanging around on a street corner or just doing nothing. It's given them a focus and a purpose, and it's building up life skills. They might not re realise it, but they're building on their confidence, their self-esteem, communication skills that they otherwise might not be gaining. 